welcome to my channel. It's me, Emma Fashionista, here to come and share with you guys this beautiful hair. This is the Queenly Beauty Brazilian Tight Curly Hair. So I've had this hair in for about three weeks and I am ready to give you guys a review. I have a very solid opinion about the hair. So if you guys are interested in seeing my pros, my cons, and my tips about this hair, then go ahead and stay tuned. And by the way, hi to my new subbies. Love you, love you, love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And also, if you're new to my channel, my name is Ebony, aka Ebony the Fashionista. And if you're an audible goodie, what up? It's good to see you. So yeah, let's jump right on into this video. So, pro to this hair is the way that it processed. We did a two-step process on this hair. A, pro a bleach process on the bottom and a bleach process on the top. This bottom one was for about 45 minutes and the top one was for about 10 to 15. Um, because I just wanted to be um, like brown to match my hair and not looking super duper black. So, yeah, I feel like this hair processed very, very well. One, it took the color excellently. Two, my hair was not stringy, it didn't change the curl powder, it wasn't dry, hard, rough, any of that. I feel like it took the hair, it took the color wonderfully. So if you guys are interested in dyeing this hair, having fun, playing with colors, then I'd recommend that you guys give it a try. Just make sure that after you're doing all the coloring, that you moisturize it. Because after I did um, color it for the second time, I did give it a nice deep condition, and the hair was like happy. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first pro that I have for this hair. It's very, very, um, very strong, I guess. You know, it took, it took the color very well. So the second pro that I have for this hair is the fact that it's very versatile. You can do so much with this hair. You can blow it out, you can do twist out, you can do braid out, you can do bantu knot out, you can do buns, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can straighten it and it's gonna bounce right back to being curly. This hair is just like the bomb digger. <laughs> That's what my mom says all the time. So yeah, I really, really love it. You can, I just have so much fun playing with this hair, seeing what I can come up with. You know, some mornings I'm tired, I just need to throw it up in the bun. I don't have time to do anything extra. But you know, if you wanna go from, you know, doing extra to doing very little at all, this hair has everything you need in between two. So yeah, I really, really love it. The third um, pro that I have is that it blends with my hair incredibly well. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, the only issue I have is that I have a bob, and so my hair in the back is shorter, so I have these little short curls that would be popping out now and then, but you know, it's not a really big deal, but more so of the texture-wise and the color, it blends extremely well with my hair. Um, now, I love that it blends with my hair because one, it has a low to medium luster, so it doesn't look incredibly shiny, and then my hair is looking kind of dull, just, you know, sitting on top. So I really love the luster of this hair. I feel like it blends with my hair very, very well. If people didn't know me and saw them for the first time, I'm sure they would think it was my hair. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Very short, very short. Um, also, it shrinks. Like, you know, it's just like my natural hair shrinks and stretches. It shrinks. So, right now, my hair has shrinkage. Um, it's usually like, let's see, I'm trying to it. it usually comes like down here, but because I just washed it yesterday, I've got shrinkage. See? <laughs> Fourth pro is that this hair is um, very, very manageable. A lot of people say, oh, curly hair is so, like, high maintenance and stuff like that. But I feel like, you know, I feel like this goes with my, my previous one. Because this hair matches very well with my hair, I don't have to do anything additional. I didn't buy any additional products. I haven't been doing any additional, you know, treatments or uh, styling ideas. You know, I have to, have to do anything extra like, oh, you gotta braid it up at night so it can come out right and match my hair. You know, like, it's very low maintenance when I wash and deep condition my hair you know it all gets done at the same time it all comes out looking great very very low maintenance hair now if you are someone who is relaxed of course this is going to be like high maintenance to you but if you are natural this will be like any other day with your natural hair. and the fifth problem that I have about this hair is that it easily detangles I have not had much trouble with knotting at all the only time I have trouble with knotting or tangles like that is when I do not do my proper night routine so my night routine is to either put my hair in a uh, pineapple and put a little hair wrap around or to put a bonnet on or to put it in a couple twists just to keep it from from tangling up you know that's usually what I do before about a week I didn't do that and so that's why I had a couple knots I had to cut out a knot I had to tangle detangle some knots so that's the only time I really have knots is when I let my hair the back of the back of my hair just rub against the you know rub against the uh, cotton pillowcase to just get friction and tangled up you know but if it's just a normal day tangling is not an issue so we only have one con 
one, one, one comment. So one thing I'm talking about, you guys are like, come on with it, tell us about the shedding. <laughs> I know you guys are waiting for it. So the shedding is, uh, the, the outfit of the shedding is really in the middle because one, this is a flip over vixen method. So there is some cutting in this, you know, some cutting in this style and my wefts aren't sealed. So it's bound to shed. It doesn't, you know, I could wreck my hair, hands through my hair right now and get nothing. You know, but it's just when I style it, just when I style it, or with that, if I'm refreshing my curls, or if I'm washing it, you know, if I'm detangling it, there's gonna be shedding. With my natural hair, there's gonna be shedding. With this hair, there's gonna be shedding. So I feel like it's not a real big issue, but if you're married and your fiance has to clean out the tub and he finds like a big old wad of hair, then it could become an issue. <laughs> so yeah, just make sure you're looking after the hair and managing the hair. Yesterday, I cleaned up the whole bathroom after I washed my hair because I knew there was gonna be hair everywhere. So just manage the hair, but it's not um it's not unreasonable, you know, if you're gonna have shedding because of those reasons. Like I said, natural hair is gonna shed anyway. It's not shedding when I touch it. I, it's not like I rub past the curtain and you're gonna see some hair on, on it. You know, it's it's natural for hair to shed. Two, I cut it's cut, and three, the west weren't sealed when it was cut. So shedding is bound to happen, but it's not crazy. But I would recommend making sure you pick up after yourself and don't leave no hair in the tub. I, mean, I didn't know so the hair was in the uh, drain. But yeah, anywho, that's the only thing I have to say about the hair. So now that the pros and cons are done, let's go ahead and move into my tips. So I don't know if you guys are noticing, but I, I, I don't know if you guys are wondering, but when I first got this hair, it's a little bit of a looser curl pattern, and you guys are probably wondering, like, how the hell did you get it like that? Um, well, I've been doing protein treatments to the hair, so I do protein treatments whenever I wash my hair, which is every other week, so the first week that I washed it, and then this week that I washed it, I put in, I mix um, like one to two squeezes of the protein treatment along with my regular conditioner curl them together and then condition my hair because I didn't want to over put over too much protein because then it would become hard and crunchy I didn't want to lose the softness and the bounciness of this hair so I just mix it with that I mix it with regular conditioner so I've been using the Apogee Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor to um, get a little bit of extra protein in my hair to fill in any gaps and to also um, give, that, give that bounce back and that really nice tighter curl just to help fill in the spots and tighten up the curl a little bit. So this is this is this has been working really well. There's like there used to be like a spot up here where it was just like wavy and it wasn't curly but not anymore. It's curly. So another tip I would like to mention to you guys is to make sure that you detangle from the roots to the tips. A lot of times I detangle like all in here. And then when I come and wash that I got like knots all up in here at the top and you know, all up on the sides, all on the like around the perimeter and at the top, where you know a lot of times it's like, actually a tool that I need. Okay, guys. And the tool that I refer to is a powder brush. A powder brush serves two purposes: one, it detangles the hair, and two, it clumps up the hair. So you can just be detangling, detangling, and then you don't you're like, ooh, yes, hello clumpage, yes, hello separated curls. <laughs> So yeah, I just feel like it just looks really, really nice, and also the tangles right here. You can get really, you can like detangle it from the bottom all the way up, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then you can go up. just to make sure that those roots get detangled. So yeah, the powder brush is your friend. Hey friend, how you doing? <laughs> like I said, I just want to make sure that I've. Want to make sure that you guys know that you need to make sure your hair is conditioned, deep conditioned, and moisturized. So I do the LLC method. And like I was saying a couple minutes ago, when caring for this hair, it's just like caring for my hair. I need to deep condition it. I need to make sure that it's moisturized, moisture, moisture, moisturized thoroughly. So I use these two products. This is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Leave-In Conditioning Cream. I use this um, during my for my wash and go. So I'll have it wet, put this on, and put on uh, put on my oil and then put this on so yeah that's my LOC method and then before I do that I deep condition with the Shea Moisture Mongongo and Hemp Seed Oils um, this is the High Porosity Moisture Seal Mask love this stuff great slip great for detangling and then last but not least you want to make gel on deck flick down your edges lay down the, uh, your part you know sometimes because I have a flip over vixen so sometimes I can part it and it's like all frizzy up here so what I usually do is I just scoop out some gel and just like break it down smooth it on this top area so that no matter how big my hair is 
even if it gets like this big, the top is still smooth, sl slick, and seamless. So yeah, those are my tips, those are my tricks, and that's my review of the Queenly Beauty Tight Curly, Brazilian Tight Curly Hair. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. And if you are a hair company and interested in me reviewing your hair, then please give me an email. My email address is ebonyberry at ymail.com. E-B-O-N-I-B-E-R-R-Y at ymail.com. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Mwah.